The following video was supposed to be part of the chicken recipe video where I use this charcoal for the first time, but that video was long enough by itself. So the charcoal review is going to be a separate video. This is that separate video. That way, instead of having one enormously long video, I just have the long chicken video and this much shorter uh, Jealous Devil charcoal review. I'm going to be cooking this on my uh, Nuke grill, an Argentinian grill, and I've got some uh, premium charcoal that was sent to me by a third party. It came through barbecueguys.com. This is a jealous devil. Now, i got to tell you, their uh, name and trade dress and all is maybe a little too cool for me or whatever, but I grew up watching cable television in the 80s, and it, it kind of reminds me of a vacuum cleaner company. Too bad this charcoal doesn't produce a lot of dust and ash so that I could uh, get it up with my handheld vacuum cleaner, right? All right, I've never used this kind of charcoal before. They're supposed to, and I'm not advertising for them, I, I'm just informing my viewers about it because they're not paying me anything. It was just sent to me by a third party, as I said. All right, there's some cool things that I like about this, all right? First, it's it doesn't have a paper bag. All my other charcoals have had paper bags, and I've used the paper bags to light chimneys from the previous bag of charcoal. You can't do that with this, but this does seem to be a sturdy plastic vinyl type bag that you could probably repurpose for something. All right, it's got a Ziploc opener on it, and it's got a handle right here. Look at that, the power of lump charcoal in the palm of your hand. Yeah, if you grew up in the 80s watching TV, you know what I'm talking about when I say that. All right, let's open it up. It's got the Ziploc opener on it. Ah, uh, the Ziploc thing just fell off. I'll figure out how to put it back on. We do that with the Ziplocs too. But I usually uh, cut stuff open with a pocket knife, but you can just pull this open. It's supposed to be extra large pieces. They look like that. Now, this is probably quebracho wood from Paraguay. It is made in Paraguay. All Jealous Devil says is that South American hardwoods, this is south of the rainforest, so it's not rainforest deforestation, and they say that they uh, do everything environmentally sustainable with wood that's already been cut for agricultural purposes instead of just burning the wood and throwing it away, they char it and make uh, charcoal out of it. Now you can see my hand is getting a little black from the charcoal, so like charcoal has dust, but it is dense. Guys, this bag looks like your average 18 or 20 pound bag, but it's 35 pounds because this is denser charcoal. I don't know if you can get in there and see in there, but just grab some random pieces. They're supposed to be extra large pieces, but here's a whole handful. That's about the size they are, right? So, can't wait to cook with it though. Smells fine. Doesn't smell funny at all. It's this hardwood dense charcoal, supposed to burn hotter and not throw sparks, which is a big deal to me because I cook under my patio a lot with this grill. I've got a vinyl ceiling on there and I don't want sparks growing up and starting a fire. So let me try this uh, premium charcoal out and we're gonna cook this chicken. All right, real quick, I uh, was able to finagle this thing back on here and I've got it closing and opening again, so like it's supposed to. But it did come off a couple times and trying to get it on, but I think it'll stay on now. Just wanted to let you know. I've got the Jealous Devil charcoal here and it is not popping and sparking, but it's smoking. All right, I lit it uh, with one of those tumbleweed starters. Now I've used those tumbleweed starters before, never seen them smoke like that. And uh, it's going right here too, but it's not popping and sparking, but it is smoking. So I bet this would be good in the smoker. Now, it said extra large pieces, you know, I've poured quite a bit out of the bag now, and a lot of the pieces did fall through the bracero there. Right. I did reload the uh, bracero because a lot of the coals fell through. Once again, the sizes, they're big, but they don't seem to be extra big to me. Uh, but this is a very hot charcoal, and it is not throwing sparks. And I did reload it, and I put, started to put the bag up there, and it was so hot I thought I was going to melt that plastic bag, so I shoveled it out. I've got them all right along here, and I'll put the chicken up there. We're going to lower the grates down. I'm going to put the skin side down first. The grate is at the bottom. You can hear it sizzling already because, I mean, that coal is hot, y'all. It is really hot. That skin side down first. Come here. I've got some corn to cook, some refried beans to make, too, so y'all hang in there, all right? Burned. I should not have done that. 
dead nab it. Let it on there too long. Oh well. All right, after the cook, I took the shovel and I shoveled out the coals. This is the ash that was left in there. That's the kind of stuff I sweep out. If you wanna see how I clean this grill, you can watch the video in the iCard above or the link down below on my uh, follow-up review of this grill. Anyway, so that ash was left in here and the rest of it went into the uh, bucket so that I could snuff it out because this isn't the kind of grill where you can close off vents and snuff out charcoal. All right, well, I took the bag inside to my uh, bathroom and I weighed it. And 29 pounds, which means we used about six pounds of charcoal. Okay, this zipper thing here, um, I got it back on and I can close it back up, but it's popped off a few times. But anyway, as you get down, let me see if I can open it up with one hand here, or maybe we'll just do it like this. There it goes. You see it? It's opening, okay? There you go. It's open. And as you get down in there, I'm starting to see a few bigger chunks, but they're still, it's not impressing me as far as being extra large pieces. It says on the bag, extra large pieces, right there, extra large lumps. But... They just look like large lumps, not really extra large lumps to me. Um, all right, I shoveled out the stuff out of the grill and did, put it into this container. I have not peeked at it yet, snuffed it out, and that's what's left. Now, it produces a lot less ash than briquettes, but all lump charcoal does. Does it produce less um, ash than the hardwood lump charcoal from the United States, the hickory, the maples, the uh, mesquites, and the oaks and things? I don't know. Um, I would have to, uh, probably there's scientific data to prove that it does, but it's not a noticeable difference. But I will tell you, it is noticeably more dense and it burned noticeably more hot. It throws off noticeably less sparks too. All right, so let's talk a little bit about it as far as the trade dress thing. Yeah, because I'm in my late 40s and if you're in your late 40s or early 50s, it may remind you of the vacuum cleaner thing. I remember seeing it online a few years ago and they were talking about the carry handle on the side of the bag and I kept thinking, the power of lump charcoal in the palm of your hand, because that vacuum cleaner, handheld vacuum cleaner used to say, the power of an upright in the palm of your hand. Same red and black styling. Got a lot of coolness to the uh, marketing and the hype of it. You know, maybe it's too cool for me, but, um, it's def if I was in my early 20s, I definitely think it's pretty cool, you know, it, the styling of the whole marketing thing of it. But uh, I got to tell you, I was real impressed with the performance. Gets hot. Gets real hot. The chicken was on there for just about a minute. I mean, just 60 seconds. I ran inside, got the ingredients for the side dish that I was going to make, some refried beans. They were already ready for me on the counter. I came back out with the tray that had the ingredients on it, and the skin of my chicken was a lot blacker than I expected it to be. All right, didn't throw off any sparks. Uh, I saw some comments online about it having a chemical smell. It smells different than American hardwoods. It does. It doesn't smell like hickory or oak or something like that. It smells different. But if I'd grown up in the southern cone of South America with barbecue done on that kind of wood, it would smell like barbecue to me. Uh, it didn't put any off flavors in the food. The food tasted great. And um, I was really impressed. So it burned hot and it burned a long time and it burned without popping and sparking. All right, uh, it is made in Paraguay. If that's important to you, you wanna use charcoal that's made in the United States, it'll use United States hardwoods like hickory and oak and things that pop. But if you want this quebracha wood from South America, then you need to use some that's made in South America. You know, I use a lot of olive oil. All the olive oil I use is from Mediterranean countries. Why? Because that's where olive trees grow. Well, if you want this kind of lump charcoal, you gotta get it where those kind of trees grow. And so it comes from Paraguay, it's made in Paraguay. Um, the bag, it's plastic, a lot of advantages there, or vinyl or whatever it's made out of, but it doesn't get wet. This, uh, my Southwest Louisiana humid climate, you can see it's humid right now, it's mid-July, and um, it's not going to get damp, you know, and if I was to uh, buy it at a store, throw it in the back of my truck, start raining on the way home, I don't have to worry about it getting wet like you do with paper bags, but I don't have that leftover paper bag from the previous bag of charcoal to light a chimney with either, so... That's neither, that's your opinion on it, however you want to do. So here it is, all right? No sparks, gets really, really hot. As far as the claims of less ash, 
I think it was about average to what lump charcoal I'm used to using. And as far as the claim of extra large, I don't think it was all that extra large. But I was impressed with the performance of it. Anyway, thanks for watching uh, my review of Jealous Devil Charcoal. And um, I'll give a follow-up review when the bag's gone or I get some more and get a little more experience with it. This is just my initial review after one use.